Growing up out here was probably the best thing that you know I could ever have asked for. Working cattle and whatnot on the place and it was the best childhood I, I could imagine one having. When I was about five years old, my youngest brother was born in Graham and the, the, the local doc there let me put on the, the scrubs and whatnot. It was at that point my mom says I wanted to be a doctor. Coming from a small town here, you see a lot of folks who uh, don't have access to health care. It, it's pretty sad and it, it made me want to try to give that back to a small town. My dad being a rancher and my mom being an educator, you know, money was not something that we had uh, just lying around. Uh, we relied heavily on scholarships to get me through undergrad and med school. And the uh, WRCF came up and uh, dad was involved in some of the rodeos. So we were somewhat familiar with it and. Uh, we gave it a shot and sure enough, they uh, uh, got it that first year of undergrad. And I guess they realized that maybe the same thing I did that, you know what, we need a lot of ranchers, we need conservationists, but you know what, we need doctors too. And uh, I guess that impressed them enough to want to wanna help, help out and they've been there ever since. About a year and a half into med school in my uh, my mom called uh, and told me that my father had collapsed and we need to get to the hospital immediately. Soon after, we started to realize he wasn't gonna wake up and we were just kind of left out there uh, by ourselves. And then, uh, oh, I guess it was early that spring, that's when these big fires hit. I think it was April 8th of 2011. My wife come in and said something about seeing smoke. So we jumped and pick up and run down there and where I got to where I could see it. There was fire back in there. Part of them actually started on our place. It burned every aspect of it, all, all 11,000 acres. When I say burn, I mean completely killed cedars, killed live oaks, killed, you know, just about everything that it went through. We lost several head of cows. And here we were, just kind of turned on our heads, never been in that position before. We uh, received a phone call and a check from WRCF. Just out of the blue, we hadn't talked to them or contacted them. Uh, and it offers for any way they could help, whether it was hired help, they could send down help work cattle or bring hay or water. It was, just, it was a lot of, lot of feelings at once. Uh, more than anything, I guess it was comforting. Uh, that was the biggest thing. I mean, shoot, <laughs> out here by yourself and you got the WRCF just kind of help holding you up on all aspects of that, from your education to the ranching to everything they were there. There's lots of cowboys that would just a lot of them probably couldn't get by if there hadn't been some help from the WRCF. One of their main goals and purposes is to preserve this Western lifestyle. And then the, the scholarships and crisis on top of that, it just, it's helped many, many people. I think what they do is unbelievable. Uh, I, I can't think of a better organization to be a part of. Um, somebody who helps you when you need it most. That's what they did for us. And now I'm at JPS in Fort Worth County Hospital. Um, about a third of the way through my residency, becoming an ER physician. The great thing about that is I can help out multiple small town areas, multiple areas in Texas. This is what I want to do. I want to come back to uh, West Texas and, and fill a need, uh, provide that health care that maybe I didn't have as a kid.